we made it tough. Uh, just take the chances, parents. Uh, not the only match. Uh, go to Marinsberg, better chances you don't take. Royal AM, better chances you don't take them. Uh, today, again, I think the scoreline is not a true reflection of how much we could have scored. Uh, based on the number of chances that we created, five, six chances, clear chances, score. And um, if we continue doing that, uh, then it affects the, the morale. But I'm just happy that today, one, following from behind, uh, from a giveaway goal, just like we did against Royal AM, a poor arrest defense. But one difference today is that we did not panic, which is what we emphasized during halftime. Uh, which is why we didn't make the personnel change uh, during halftime, because we gave them the belief uh, that we were not playing bad. It's just that we were not taking the chances that were coming our way. But when we could detect that there was no change uh, in the first 10, 15 minutes, then we went for a personnel change, which I thought uh, did very well. Uh, all the subs that we, we brought on today, but never panicked, uh, kept on playing, kept on pushing them back. Uh, but as a coach, one thing that I've learned, that it's always very difficult to play against a low block. Uh, you could see that the team was just uh, drilled to sit in a reinforced defense and come out on a counter. And you have to have a great rest defense and a defensive balance. Got caught, uh, but I'm just happy with the, with the three points today. How it came about, uh, it's just three points. Um, it gives us the morale going into next matches. But still, again, work in progress, but Pirates must take the chances that they create. I don't think there's a team that creates so many chances and don't take them. And equally the same with every adversity that the team is facing. And you don't know why it's happening to our team with so many injuries. I know it happens in every team, but our injuries is out of ordinary. Uh, you can count wherever you are the number of players that we have lost. Uh, I haven't seen some players since I arrived here. Uh, I'm still waiting. God being God, uh, he's got his plan, and uh, I'm just happy that we got the result today. And let's take this uh, going into the next match. Sophia, are you still with us? Yes, I'm there. With you. Then ask him. Yeah, good evening, coach and colleagues. Uh, coach, I just want to know, uh, it's Hitler, it's Hitler from the Zoetan. I just want to know, coach, how far are you in terms of maybe being satisfied with the, with the overall uh, operation there as a coach? How far are you with, with uh, reaching that stage where you will say, now I'm, I'm satisfied? Sitle, I am not uh, satisfied, my brother. Uh, when, we, when we started uh, having this opportunity with Coach Fadlu, uh, we worked on stages, uh, intensity, football fitness, then we were satisfied in that zone. We went into keep the ball. If we say we're possession based, then let's use the ball as a tool to attack opponents, changing points of attack, switch play, uh, dominate the game using the ball. We got that. Uh, now we're struggling a bit with the attacking that chance creation, we are creating chances. But just one part that is left is, is putting the ball in the net. Check all the matches that we have played, how many chances we have created, but we don't take, going backwards. I think we're there, work in progress. 80% uh, satisfied, uh, but a coach is never satisfied. I just want us to create chances, but take them, uh, because anything would have happened with a scoreline like that, 2-2, uh, then you, it's a disaster. But I'm just happy that uh, we went a goal down, but did not panic. Uh, still created chances differently from the game against Marisberg, where I thought when they went one man down, we started panicking. We, 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 we want to be composed on the ball. We want to be a big team on the ball. We want to outplay opponents. We want to outsmart opponents and outmuscle opponents. And if we, are say, uh, we say we are that team, then we should do that, but take the chances, uh, which we are not doing currently at the best of our ability.
Uh, Tandy, can I ask questions? Sorry, I can't see the chat. It's David from Indiski Times. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Um, coach, congrats on the win. Um, I just wanted to ask quickly, uh, I heard you talk on TV, I think that there was an injury scare for your defender and Da. Is that right? Can you maybe comment on it? Thank you. We, we will wait for the medical report, um, uh, how, how serious it is, uh, but uh, concerned a bit. Uh, but it's, it's the story of our lives. Uh, in almost every match, uh, we lose a player. And, and, and the sad part is not injuries of, uh, of training. It's just unfortunate uh, injuries that are out of our control. I'm just hoping that uh, he is OK for the next match because he plays an integral part in our team. Hi, Coach. Uh, can, um, can I go, Tandy? I don't know, I didn't get any directive here. Um, anyway, congratulations on the victory. Um, this bodes well for Saturday's most important match of the of the year. What do you think? I'm happy that we won today, uh, but you know these tapis such matches. There's no form, there's no history behind. Uh, it depends on what happens on the day uh, of the match. But I'm happy that we we confident a bit. Uh, we'll play with a bit of confidence, the belief. Uh, but like I said, uh, these matches, there's no form, there's no history. It will depend on what happens on the day of the match. And I'm hoping and praying that Pirates play well and play with confidence and get a result against a very formidable side of Kaiser Chiefs.